If you're considering selling your home, and let's just say you're interested in a strategy that may net you thousands of dollars more by implementing properly, then this video is for you. So today, we're gonna discuss the pros and the cons of implementing a contract deadline in your marketing strategy, right after this. Whether you're interested in either buying or selling a home, if you've been looking at all, you've probably noticed that many of the homes you'll see on the market offer a contract deadline. So what's this deadline all about? Today, we're gonna to discuss the pros and cons of creating a contract deadline for you as a home seller. There's no question, this is not a topic where one size fits all. Many of the homes you'll see on the market will announce a deadline by which contracts must be submitted. The reason for this is simple. The seller is trying to create more time to allow more people creating more demand in attempts of creating a bidding war. Let's discuss both pros and cons to determine if this is the strategy for you. Pro number one, the deadline allows more time for more buyers to come through. The idea there, the more buyers, the more demand, the higher the sales price, you get it. Pro number two, it creates urgency. Both buyers and buyer's agents are clearly told when the deadline is so they know exactly what they need to do and the time they need to do it. Pro number three, it allows the buyer more time to really strategize and decide what their best offer is going to be. Pro number four, it allows you, the seller, to budget your time. What I mean by this is it allows you to step away from the process, let the process do what the process is going to do. Hopefully, we sit back and wait and have many offers that come in. Pro number five, it creates greater demand, which hopefully, once again, creates more excitement, more offers, higher offers, and fewer contingencies. Sounds great, doesn't it? But with just about everything else in life, this strategy can have its cons, so let's get right into it. Con number one. Your perfect buyer may not wait for your deadline. I've seen scenarios where buyers may have you as their first choice, but because you've told them to wait in line, they ended up going to your neighbor's home who said, come on in. The bottom line is some buyers may take their second choice because they're gonna get that now answer. They simply don't wanna risk losing out on their first choice. Con number two, it gives the buyer more time. Now, under the pros, we discussed the buyer having more time as being an impossible advantage to you, and that is true. However, if given more time, the buyer could potentially either talk or think themselves right out of it. We've all heard the old adage, strike while the iron's hot. Con number three, if no offers come in by your deadline, moving forward, the sellers lost a little bit of leverage. If offers don't come in by the deadline, we can all rationalize why maybe we didn't get the offers in, but the bottom line is, let's face it, you've been rejected. That window of time with your deadline, whether that be three, four, or five days, that's your golden time. You'll never get that back. Now that we've discussed the pros and cons, let's discuss maybe when you would use a contract deadline and when you wouldn't. In my opinion, a contract deadline should only be used in a market where there's high demand and low supply. As a home seller, you want to be reasonably certain that there's enough demand to create multiple offers for your home. I've had many homes over the last year sell for 50, as much as $100,000 over list price simply by creating a contract deadline. In 2021, my average home is sold for 5% over list price. And a big part of this is because of creating that contract deadline. Once again, sounds great, but let's talk about the flip side. I've seen many scenarios where the right buyer was lost because they simply weren't going to wait. That may not be a big deal if you've got other buyers to back them up, but it could also be catastrophic if there's no one else behind them. I always say putting a home on the market is a lot like taking good and hot food served right off the stove. Let's face it, the highest demand is in the beginning for both. The longer the home and the food sits around, the less desirable it becomes. The only difference is extra time on the market could mean thousands less dollars in your pocket when you sell, but extra food just kind of hanging around for too long may just kill you. <laughs> I guess in summary, it's really about understanding the climate of the market. Is the tide coming in with buyers 
or is the tide going out with buyers? High demand, low supply could be the perfect conditions for you to adopt a contract deadline strategy. A more balanced market, I'm thinking you stay away from it. High supply, low demand, this strategy could be the kiss of death. A good realtor should be able to show and articulate the statistics of what's going on in your neighborhood to determine if this is the strategy best for you. Also, in the DC area, you want to take into consideration seasonality. Are you in peak marketing period or off peak? It could make a big difference. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. Please contact me anytime about any of your real estate questions at 240-793-7495. Thanks once again for visiting the latest video in a series, Real Kevin. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment, or share the video. Thanks again for checking me out. See you next Wednesday.